Hi, I'm Big League doing a review of this underwater two, two torch light tray. Um, it has, it comes with the two torches and it has a battery, and it comes with a battery, lithium ion battery as well, the 18650. And this tray, it doesn't come with the camera or the case, it just comes with the, the bottom holder. It doesn't come with the skewer either. I just want to say that the skewer wasn't long enough. The one that came with the sheet case um, made by the same company wasn't long enough to reach to the end. I had to use another generic uh, skewer, which is just a millimeter longer to reach the end of the nut to tighten it. So watch out for that. Uh, apart from that, it's very sturdy. These are very stiff. Uh, it's very stiff to turn, and it's just to maintain its structure as you move it around underwater. I guess it's to prevent from the currents, and also note that the, every joint here has a little hole, and maybe it's to wash, it's to keep it light, or if salt water gets in, then you could easily wash it out with fresh water. So, everything's all plastic, except for this bottom thing, this bottom is metal. And I just want to point out that the when I f my first impression is that this light needs to be diffused, because it's easy easy hot spots. So I just want to show you what it looks like. Let me just turn this on. You see white is made by this light and you see immediately there's a hot spot. Turn this on, you got another hot spot, right? I mean the, the rest of it is evenly light and it's also at a different, slightly different color. It's kind of reddish on the edges you see next to the hot spots. So look at the difference. If I put in a sculpting cup right here, one of these things, it, it diffuses flash. Um, it's so much better. Let's see. So I put this here. It's much more even. Let me just turn this light off here. So this is the lower level light. And it's, I mean, the third function, it blinks and it turns off. You see how, let's, let me show you the difference again. You see how this is hot spot? And then you have the Stokin cup. It's much more even. It's a much more even light. So obviously the glossy, um, covered will show that hot spot but it's bigger difference than this so i definitely recommend having a little diffuser cut out and screwed on glued on to the lens to make it much more even that's the i think the only thing i recommend you can't zoom the light in and out at the top bit of the light when you turn it on there's a little blue light indicating it's on and if you were to Unscrew this. Let me just turn this off. If I were to unscrew this, I would reveal it's really tough, by the way, because it's got two silicon O rings as a seal. Let's see if it's there's one ring and then two. So, what it doesn't it recommends to constantly we lubricate it with uh, silicon oil, but it doesn't come with a pack of silicon oil. You gotta buy it yourself. So when it comes in contact with water, this could dry out. So um, put some silicon oil in there to lubricate. And let's just, let's just take this hole out for completeness, and this is the battery. So screw it in, two O-rings to make it waterproof. All right, um, hope you enjoyed the review. Feel free to ask any questions, comment. If you want to see more reviews, just like and subscribe. Peace.